It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us for every kick of the ball right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other, they should still cause problems today. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. And so the battle commences. It's a splendid run by Mbappe. But nothing comes of it. Lionel Messi. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners up in 1930, 1990 and eight years ago in 2014. Are they going to do it here in 2020? And throwing himself up the ball. Whipped in by Griezmann. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Fernandez. Rodrigo de Paul. On to Messi. Perfectly positioned to take it away. The presence of Lionel Messi in the starting 11 should be a warning to opposing defenders. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a. Oh, good... Stewart's a chance! Well, body in the way. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Kunde. Dembele. Jules Koundé on the ball. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. 
Griezmann. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Capable of so much better from that position. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up. De Paul. Fernandez. Oh, he's given us away. Teo Hernandez. Mbappe with it. Read it superbly to take back possession. Teo Hernandez. Romero. Enzo Fernandez. McAllister. It's opening up for them. The save was a good one. over by Messi and the danger still on Otamendi determined defending Lionel Messi on borderline offside but correct Chances on. Still alive. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Messi and they need to get tighter here well nothing comes of it it looked promising must take the lead here and the challenge crisp and clean well slightly off target and that'll be a throw in Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Could be a chance to break here. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Well, opting for the short corner. Messi. And offside it is.
Dembele. They've regained possession. And continues his run. Lionel Messi. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Well, a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. It's a short corner. Can he finish? And no way through. Aurelien Chouameni. It's with Giroud. And he's in. Mbappe in the center and a no-nonsense clearance Griezmann and disappointingly not even close to hitting the target there yeah he was looking to open up his body guide it into the corner but he's got it all wrong it's a poor attempt in the end Molina. Well, Argentina have really started to dominate the play over the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. Chouameni. Here's Mbappe. And the pass, a good one. Out of play for an Argentina throw. Well, what on earth happened there? And plenty of room in the wide area. And the attempt just wide. So unfortunate. Mercado. Teo Hernandez now. Mbappe. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, it looked like it might lead to something very positive indeed, but a useful interception. Messi. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Giroud <laughs> well, a bad pass it was Mbappe oh, terrific pass And Messi! Brilliantly blocked. The corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. Not did his job defensively. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So back underway here, into the second half. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end.
Good move in the making from France. Mbappe. Well, closed down straight away. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. Nasty landing on the shoulder. Oh, Jeff, they're in a great position here. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. Might be a chance here. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. And deciding to go short with this one. And the block by Otamendi. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Well, opting for the short corner. Dembele with the cross. Oh, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. And they have possession again. Well, France have had all the ball in the last 15 minutes and looked a real threat going forward. But they must take one of these chances while they're having this good period that you do sense it's coming. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Otamendi. Messi. Very quick thinking there. Dembele. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Messi. Well, the supporters think it's on. Able to get a body in the way. Poor pass. And the emphasis is on creativity. Messi, can he put it in? Squanders the chance for 1-0. Well, that's a big miss. They should be leading now. Rabio. Now with Upamecano. Well, we're into the final half hour. Must take the lead here. Able to get his body in the way. Rabio. Rabio. Zero. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. And possession ceded by Argentina. And foul it is then. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. And there to intervene. Rabio. Rabio. Griezmann. Can they not in front? Well, nothing comes of it. And just slightly offside.
De Paul. Messi. A fine use of the ball. Magnificent defending. Good move in the making from France. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. And with play stop, they will make the change now. And he's got the beating of his opponent, Lionel Messi! Full credit, wonderful stop. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Coman. Now Griezmann. Nicely timed tackle. Martinez. Breaking at pace. But the danger averted for now. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Rodrigo de Paul. Messi. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Coman. Useful looking ball. Zero. Oh, and it goes. The long wait is over. The opening goal at last in this World Cup final. And will it be decisive? Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Now, well, Molina, Rodrigo de Paul moving the ball forward with purpose. Still trying to get the shot off. Oh, fine stop. <laughs> trying to deliver it accurately. It hasn't come to very much. And support available. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. And saved by the keeper. A corner then. And with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Going short. Determined defending. Olivier Giroud. Giroud. Mbappe. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Griezmann with it. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. And this could really make certain. And he puts it away confidently.
Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Coman. Now Griezmann. Coman. Ball with Nicolas Tagliafico. Counter attacking, very much an option. They need to get bodies back. Just wanted to get it out of there. Can he play it in? And they could face difficulties here. And thumped away. Rodrigo de Paul. And he's broken free. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Surely. And a goal to tighten things up. They've thrown themselves a lifeline. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Really good challenge. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. This could square the game. How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. Well, this late corner could represent the last chance to equalise. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. And now it's all over. France are world champions for the third time. And there's no doubt about it, Derek. They've been the best team in the tournament. France, the world champions. It takes a massive effort to win back-to-back -back World Cups. But, Stuart, that's what France have done.